Hey y'all, it's Lippy. I'm trying to beat the storms. We're under another tornado watch. Power has been off and on all day. But people still have to eat, right? So looking at radar, I got about an hour and 15 minutes for another band comes through and we're subject to lose power. But I gotta feed the king of the house, right? So, what better way to cook than redneck china, bacon dishes, right? This is heavy duty. If we keep power, I will wash this, yes, and reuse it. If we lose power, I have no mess. And we'll be eating on redneck china, too. I'm just trying to feed us and not have a sink full of dishes. So, I'm going to drop you down. And what the menu is, is a baked pork loin and all gratin potatoes. Some of you may call them scallop potatoes. So, let me drop you down and show you what I've done. This is the easiest thing, guys. Even on a non-rainy day, this is the perfect meal. Add you a salad to it. That's what we're gonna do, and life is grand. This can easily feed six people, and I'm gonna be under 10 bucks. Okay, let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, this was just one of them pork loins at the supermarket. Now, this was a seasoned one with uh, lemon pepper and garlic. But I rinsed it. As you can see, some of it remained. I patted it dry. Okay, the seasoning's not going to bother me. And then I'm going to give it a good rub, okay, with pork and good mixed with a little bit of oil, okay? Now you can use any rub. I'm gonna use Miss Lippy's Pork and Good and I'm gonna mix about two tablespoons of this to one tablespoon of oil and we're gonna to get to rubbing this down. Okay, as you can see, I'm using that good china side and I'm just gonna give it a rub. That's it. You don't wanna overcoat because we're gonna actually make a glaze for this. But what I wanna do is I wanna get a good sear on this. All right, we're gonna get this browned. Okay, we're gonna go in with fat side up. And I'm on a high. I really wanna get a sear on this meat. Okay, this is what we want. I'm just searing it. As you can see, we've got the pork loin out. I'm going in the same skillet and I'm gonna melt a fourth of a cup of butter. Four tablespoons, guys. Hey, it's almost melted. We're gonna go in with about a fourth of a cup of honey. Okay, we've got our honey and, my, and our butter. One tablespoon, and I didn't measure this, I'm just putting it in here of minced garlic. Okay, it's the first thing that you want to do. And we only want to give this about a minute because we don't want to burn the garlic. All right, I'm gonna do about a, I don't know, about a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce and a teaspoon of rice vinegar. Doesn't take much. Oh, this smells so good. Now we're gonna turn the fire off, remove it from the stove, and add some salt and pepper. Okay, can you see? We've let it set off the stove about a minute. You see how thick it is? Well, I'm gonna go in with maybe Not quite two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'll show you why. All right. We're gonna get this melted. And this is gonna thin that glaze. Okay. Now you see. Okay, here we go. We're gonna just pour it all over this pork loin. Now you can change up the amount of honey 
brown sugar. You can omit brown sugar, just leave the honey, but the combination of the two is phenomenal. All right, we're gonna cover it in full. We're gonna set it to the side because we have to do our potatoes now. Because they're both gonna cook at 375, so make sure your oven's preheated. They're both gonna cook about an hour. Yeah, you can see right there, all I've done is I sprayed two throwaway pie pans, the square rounds, and this is five medium russet potatoes. And instead of doing a large container, I did it in two smaller ones. Supper tonight, supper tomorrow, and it's gonna be easy to warm in this. Okay, I've got my pan heating, and I've got three tablespoons of salted butter. Now you can use unsalted, but Lippy doesn't keep unsalted in her house. I just lower the salt if I need to on any recipe. Let me turn it down to about a four. Three tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I'm gonna start there because I don't want too thick of a paste. And we want this to get happy. I'm gonna let this cook about a minute, but I'm gonna continuously stir, okay? I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. Because when we start adding our liquid, what we don't want to do is bring it to a bowl. We want to keep it at a simmer because we are using milk in this recipe. Now, this is just a basic blonde roux is what we call it in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Now, can you see it's starting to get a light color? Remember, it started off golden. This is when you know. I mean, it's obvious. I know that I have cooked that flour taste out, and it's coming back to that pretty butter color. It's the easiest trick in the world, because it's gonna go dark at first, and then it's when it lightens back up, you're ready to go. Now, one cup of chicken stock. And I used the chicken base is all I used. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a cup of milk. Now you could have used two cups of milk, um, but I like to split it between the chicken broth. It just gives it that little extra boost of flavor. All right, I'm going to stir this till it starts to want to thicken because we have a secret ingredient. Okay, it has simmered, I'd say, a good three minutes. Now, we're going to use just a little garlic salt. Now, you'll notice I'm not going to put any salt in this. And a teaspoon of dry ranch dressing mix. and a good sprinkle of black pepper. Between that garlic salt and that dry ranch, it's a flavor profile that you just wanna go, oh, I need more. Okay, now, fresh nutmeg. I know you ones that say, oh, I don't like nutmeg. You're not gonna taste the nutmeg, I promise you. I don't know what, 12 scrapes? That brings it home, guys. And then I've got a half a cup of mozzarella and a cup of Colby Jack, it's what I had. I would prefer Gruyere, I don't have any. Now this is where I'm turning it, turning the fire off and I'm lifting it up. Oh yeah, we're fixing to go to those potatoes, guys. Oh, look at that, yum. Mm. 
I'm about to make Mr. Buddy a happy man. Oh, and I wanted to tell y'all, if, uh, if you're wondering about the honey that I used, North Carolina honey from Permapasture Farms, let me tell you what. This is, and I've had a lot of honey. Now, I know if you have allergies, you know, you're, you're to have honey, you know, from your locals. But y'all, you want some good honey. It is absolutely gorgeous. The bottle that I used, I've had it a year, has yet to crystallize. It, it's really amazing. So, let me get these wrapped up. Time isn't on my side. Nope. Pain is going in. Pork loin going in. Okay, we're at the 30 minute mark and the foil is coming off of the pork loin only. Uh, it'll go back in for another 30 minutes uncovered. The potatoes are still covered and they're cooking. They will cook an hour and then I'll take the foil off, put some cheese on, put them back in till the cheese melts. But we're not done with this. Oh, this is hot. So, all right, let me show you what it looks like. Oh, I got me a facial, didn't I? <laughs> okay, there it is without the cover. Oh, man, and look at that juice. All right, back in the oven, 30 minutes. Okay, the pork loin has cooked for one hour. And we're going to drain all this delicious goodness out in this skillet. And I'm sitting about a number five on this electric stove. Okay, I'm gonna cover this pork loin and we're just gonna let it rest. And we're fixing to make a glaze, okay? But you definitely want this to rest. We're not gonna cut into this for a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, here's our drippings. Now this is gonna be to taste. This is just sriracha. maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Because remember, we've got that little bit of vinegar, that little wang, that little sweet. This is gonna bring just a hint of heat. Now we're gonna come in with a slurry, and this is a teaspoon of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water. We're gonna thin it out and then let it reduce. Okay, now you could add chicken broth. I'm just gonna add about four more tablespoons of just water. And that's what we want. We wanna just thin it out. We're gonna turn it to low, and I'm gonna let this sit here and simmer about three minutes. Okay, I've let it reduce. I'm coming in with two tablespoons of butter. Look at this. We're going to cover this back up and just let it rest. And the potatoes are not far behind this. We're fixing to pull the lid off or the foil off and we're going to put some cheese. Put the potatoes back in just till the cheese melts. Supper's ready, guys. From prep to cook to finish, hour and 15 minutes. Look at there, look at there. We made it, y'all. I'm not worried. We have supper tonight. Now, I want y'all to look at these potatoes. Ooh, that's hot. Let me do this. If you wanted to dress them up, you could have put panko breadcrumbs, but Mr. Buddy just likes plain cheese topped. That's a meal. My, my, my. But he's gonna be coming in late. They had something to do at work. I'm just gonna pick this up. I want y'all to see this. Look at that beautiful, perfectly cooked pork loin. Now we're gonna try this. You know, Lippy has always got to sample. People, please. You don't need a knife. 
If I wasn't on camera, I would actually pick it up and probably eat it with my fingers. That's tailgate food right there. Look at that. Hmm. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna try the potatoes. Now, I'm not a big potato eater. Mr. Buddy, uh, yes. But if you doctor them up, now I could have added bacon too, but we were gonna keep it simple, right? We had an hour. Oh, where'd my piece? There's my piece, I dropped it. Perfectly cooked. Not mushy, not firm. Great texture. That ranch. It's there, but it's not there. You know what I mean? Oh my. Absolutely delicious. But guys, this is, this is a lot of food. I feed a lot of people. I mean, I literally cut two pieces this size and there's probably 12 to 14 pieces. It's a nice size piece of meat right there. I hope you try this recipe. And the ones that's in the storms right now, Miss Lippy's praying for all of y'all. So, until next time, as always, well, hello, Gigi. God bless. Stay safe. I knocked this one slap out the park. Yes, I did. <laughs>